There's a lot of studies that show that, you know, the lack of sound privacy or like sound spilling into your your work environment, it's the most common frustration people have with their work environment. Uh, And uh, over a lot of other things, like, you know, if it's heating or cooling issues or uh, not enough natural light or anything like that, acoustics is usually the one thing that people complain about the most in these spaces. And, um, you know, if you have a lack of privacy, uh, there's not only just the distractions that are involved, but then there's also, in some situation, you've got like HIPAA laws in healthcare facilities, yeah. uh, and and then sensitive information where you know maybe there's a boss that's having a meeting with somebody, and then you don't want the rest of the office to be able to hear it. Um, so it's important to to try to take care of all of those things. Um, in fact, there's a here's a chart here that shows a. Uh, analysis of some data that the Center for the Built Environment did uh, where they they polled a lot of different people to see what their biggest complaints were with their work environment. And uh, obviously there's a lot of complaints. Uh, Hopefully there's not (laughs) as many complaints here at Haversick Designs as there are on this chart. (laughs) But the uh, uh, notice the sound privacy uh, is the one that is um, close to 60 percent uh, of, of complaints um, people complaining uh, about the, the sound privacy and these uh, different lines that you see on here you have the black dark gray light gray light blue and dark blue those are for different uh, environments yep. so one is an enclosed private office uh, that's the black line dark gray is enclosed shared offices uh, light gray is cubicles with high partitions like tall partitions uh, light blue is cubicles with low partitions Partitions and the dark blue is an open office plan. And uh, yeah. That's kind of wild how like close to 20% is enclosed private offices are still complaining about yeah. private, like sound privacy. Yeah, because, you know, private office while it seems like it implies that you have privacy i think mm-hmm. it's just defined as like it has walls and a door right you know like that's it <laughs> even though it's, it may not actually be private sure. uh, it's someone that has their own space but those if built poorly you can easily hear you know mm-hmm. people from from room to room um so we have sound privacy where you know in uh, the cubicles with high partitions sound privacy was about 58 percent of the people complained um with the low partitions it was like 56 percent of the people complained so really not much of a change of high partitions versus low partitions which makes sense because uh with these these partitions um sound travels like water does and so you imagine filling up these cubicles with water it's just going to spill out over the top if it's not an actual wall so having a high one versus a low one the high one might block a little bit more sound but it looks like it's negligible as far as uh people's people's uh, perception with it kind of on that note too like some places like put in white noise um yeah or yeah they just put in white noise to kind of try to blend that down but how does so how does that work and like how much would that impact something like this so one thing with the the white noise and like active noise control different things that you can do um sometimes i always look at it as a last resort it's something where if you cannot handle it with proper building techniques and sound is leaking from space to space uh, and there's nothing else you can do you've exhausted all your options yeah. then I'll, I'll turn to uh, solutions like white noise machines to basically try to dr- drown out uh, the, the the amount of sound so that maybe you hear something's going on but you wouldn't be able to understand what's being said sure. um, the, the thing about white noise machines though that I don't enjoy is that the same um, uh, you know analogy that I was making with with how you get so uh, tired traveling and and wearing earplugs on planes can help you be more refreshed. Imagine having to process all that noise through an eight hour workday. You know, like it it ends up making people a little bit more tired and sluggish in environments that have white noise machines. Interesting. Yeah. Um, Another thing on this this chart, uh, you know, sound privacy is one, but then just noise level is the one right above it. And it looks like 20 to 30 percent of the people just complain about the the noise level of, Mm -hmm. of the space in general. Now, there's other things on here you know comfort of furnishing temperature air quality but none of them uh visual privacy is the next closest to sound privacy uh but really uh the sound privacy complaints just dwarf all the other things that are going on in here yeah um and and it's a big thing that needs to be addressed Mm -hmm.